Good evening, and welcome to St. George's Anglican Church, Paris. The psalm appointed for this evening, Thursday, the 9th of July, is Psalm 94, and the reading comes from Roman chapter 15. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall shew forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Lord God, to whom vengeance belongs, O God, to whom vengeance belongs, shine out in majesty. Rise up, O judge of the earth. Give the arrogant their just deserts. Lord, how long shall the wicked how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall the evildoers boast and pour out such impudent words? They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. They murder the widow and the stranger, the orphans they put to death. And yet they say, The Lord will not see, neither shall the God of Jacob regard it. Consider, most stupid of people, you fools, when will you understand? He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? He that formed the eye, shall he not see? He who corrects the nations, shall he not punish? He who teaches the peoples, does he lack knowledge? The Lord knows every human thought, that they are but a breath. Blessed are those whom you have chastened, O Lord, whom you instruct from your law, that you may give them rest, in days of adversity, until a pit is dug for the wicked. For the Lord will not fail his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. For justice shall return to the righteous, and all that are true of heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the wicked? Who will take my part against the evildoers? If the Lord had not helped me, my soul would soon have been put to silence. And when I said, My foot has slipped, your loving mercy, O Lord, upheld me. In the multitude of cares that troubled my heart, your comforts have refreshed my soul. Will you have anything to do with the throne of wickedness, which fashions evil through its law? They gather together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has become my stronghold and my God the rock of my trust. He will turn against them their own wickedness and silence them through their own malice. The Lord of God will put them to silence. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. And the Lord said to Job, Shall a fault finder contend with the Almighty? Anyone who argues with God must respond. Then Job answered the Lord, See, I am of small account. What shall I answer you? I lay my hand on my mouth. I have spoken once, and I will not answer twice, but will proceed no further. Then the Lord answered Job out of the whirlwind, Gird up your loins like a man. I will question you, and you declare to me, Will you even put me in the wrong? Will you condemn me that you may be justified? Have your an arm like God, and can you thunder with a voice like his? Deck yourself with majesty and dignity. Clothe yourself with glory and splendor. Pour out the overflowings of your anger, and look on all who are proud and abase them. Look on all who are proud and bring them low. Tread down the wicked where they stand. Hide them all in the dust together. Bind their faces in the world below. Then I will also acknowledge to you that your own right hand can give you victory. Look at Bohemoth, which I made just as I made you. It eats grass like an ox. Its strength is in its loins and its power in the muscles of its belly. It makes its tail stiff like a cedar. The sinews of its thighs are knit together, its bones are tubes of bronze, its limbs like bars of iron. 
It is the first of the great acts of God. Only its maker can approach it with the sword. For the mountains yield food for it, where all the wild animals play. Under the lotus plants it lies, in the covert of the reeds and in the marsh. The lotus trees cover it for shade. The willows of the wadi surround it. Even if the river is turbulent, it is not frightened. It is confident through Jordan rushes against its mouth. Can one take it with hooks or pierce its nose with a snare? My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour. For he hath regarded the loneliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He has shewed strength with his arms. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abram, and his seed for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The reading. This is the reason that I have so often been hindered from coming to you, but now, with no further place for me in these regions, I desire, as I have for many years, to come to you when I go to Spain, for I do hope to see you on my journey and to be sent on by you, once I have enjoyed your company for a little while. At present, however, I am going to Jerusalem in a ministry to the saints, for Macedonia and Achaia have been pleased to share their resources with the poor among the saints at Jerusalem. They were pleased to do this, and indeed they owe it to them, for if the Gentiles have come to share in their spiritual, spiritual blessings, they ought also to be of service to them in material things. So, when I have completed this, I, and have delivered them to them, what has been collected, I will set out by way of you to Spain, and I know that when I come to you, I will come in the fullness of the blessing of Christ. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by our Lord Jesus Christ, and by the love of the Spirit, to join me in earnest prayer to God on my behalf, that I may be rescued from the unbelievers in Judea, and that my ministry to Jerusalem may be acceptable to the saints, so that by God's will I may come to you with joy and be refreshed in your company. The God of peace be with all of you. Amen. Lord, now let us thou thy servant depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O Lord, shew thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fightest for us, but only thou, O God. O God, may clean our hearts within us, and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. O God, the protector of all who trust in you, without whom nothing is strong, nothing is holy, increase and multiply upon us your mercy, that with you as our ruler and guide, we may so pass through things temporal, that we lose not our hold on things eternal. Grant this, Heavenly Father, for our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. May the souls of the faithful, the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen.